Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. It is time for a Northern California trout fishing report. And uh, honestly, not much has changed since the last time I did a report about a week and a half ago, except that the fishing is even better and the conditions are more favorable, okay? We've had periods of clouds. We haven't had a lot of heat. We've had periods of wind that causes that surface water to mix with the colder water lower in the water column. And as a result of all these factors, the surface temperature at most valley and foothill lakes has remained fairly low. Bank anglers are still getting in on the action and trollers are able to work the top 10 to 15 feet of the water column and get as many strikes as they want without deploying the downriggers. That means the tin boat crowd, guys that don't have downriggers, guys that like to use lead core or even just top line, are getting in on some excellent action. And, you know, it's region-wide action at this point. You could catch trout all the way from Lake Del Vell to Lake Tahoe to El Menor to Don Pedro, the Eastern Sierra, and everywhere else in between, trout fishing is going strong. Now, my philosophy is, and I've said this many times here on the channel, I advocate working the valley and foothill lakes until they get too warm to fish, and only then start going up in elevation. Why travel further? Work those lakes that have been heavily planted throughout the winter and spring until the temperatures drive the trout too deep for you to target them comfortably, then start going up to higher elevation stuff, chase spring right on up the Sierras. So no need to leave the valley right now, you certainly can, but there's no need to, to leave places like Don Pedro or Folsom or Collins if you just wanna go out and you wanna catch a mess of trout. Speaking of Folsom, let's start there. And I'm not gonna cover every lake that's kicking out fish. If you have a favorite lake here in Northern California, it's kicking out trout if it's a trout lake. The fishing is very good region wide. Let's start with Folsom. Folsom, it's often a sleeper. It's right here, right in the shadow of the California State Capitol in Sacramento. And uh, you know, it has a reputation for being a tough lake, but right now, guys are hammered, planted, hammering planted rainbows those big steelhead looking holdover rainbows, as well as a few uh, king salmon, landlocked kings. Um, power trolling is the most effective method most days. Speedy shiners, excels, my speed spoons, and my pinheads are all doing very, very well. Um, the pinhead is great out there because it allows you kind of set yourself apart from the rest of the crowd. It's a tiny spoon that you control very quickly. And some of my customers have been going out there and having great results pulling chrome or copper pinheads, nuff said, power trolling with the metal stuff is working well. If you need to slow down, bust out the six inch blades, the hoochies, the worms, and of course my minnow tubes, white, pink and white, pinks, it's all working well. If you're targeting the kings, put a small piece of anchovy on that tube. If you're targeting the trout, leave it naked or go with a little piece of worm. Most of the action is taking place down in the lower end of the lake in the main body, but don't be afraid to venture up the arms. Don't play follow the leader at Folsom. Go find your own fish and uh, you will be rewarded. Okay, moving on. Collins Lake, a lake that I've spent a lot of time at since last November. The fishing is very, very good in the top 12 feet of the water column. Guys throwing green, garlic green power bait are catching easy limits of fish out there up to about 10 pounds. I've been doing a lot of power trolling recently. I can still pull my soft plastics and catch fish, but I haven't had a slow down recently. My trolling speed is anywhere from 2.5 to about three miles an hour. Um, I'm pulling flies. I'm pulling spoons, I'm pulling pinheads, I'm pulling trigger spoons, I'm pulling metalhead flies, and that's pretty much all I've had to do to catch limits of trout out there. Most days, trout that range up to about six and a half or seven pounds. I'm working the shoreline, I'm working shallow areas, I'm staying out of the, you know, the deep areas, I'm working structure, I'm staying on the move, and I'm catching a lot of fish at Collins. Nuff said, if you wanna get your fish on, Collins is a great place and you can get your ice cream on um, as well. Down in the valley, Lake Comanche. Lake Comanche continues to amaze. Bank anglers continue to score inflated worms, power bait, the usual suspects, the usual areas. Stop at a spot, fish for 30 minutes. If you don't get a bite, move on, find the fish. They're there, you just gotta find them. The lake level's down, but it's still a huge lake. Um, trollers, power troll, power troll, power troll. Okay, 
Rapalas, Speedy Shiners, Speed Spoons, and my Magnum Metalheads are getting it done. Comanche is a great grub lake, but you don't need to use grubs right now. Power Troll, imitate Shad, and you're gonna be yelling fish on, your rod's gonna be bent, and you may be hooked up with something huge. There's a lot of pan-sized fish out there, but there's also a lot of trout out there in that seven to eight pound class, waiting to pounce on something moving fast through the water column. So that's a great bet. If you live in Sacramento, you live in Stockton, you live kind of in that central Sacramento Valley area, don't overlook Lake Comanche. Um, my final choice is probably overall one of my better choices would be Lake Don Pedro. Kokanee are biting, kings are biting, and rainbows are biting. For the rainbows, power troll spoons, trigger spoons, excels, speed spoons, speedy shiners, stuff like that. That's all working. They're playing hard to get. Go with a threaded worm and a small blade like my mini willow leaf. It's gonna work. Kokanee, the usual array of stuff. Pinks are working. Pink spinners, pink hoochies, tip it with corn, find the marks, get the fish. The sleeper at Don Pedro is the king bite. Roll shad, roll shad, roll shad. And if you don't want to deal with shad, get a set of my rolling crippled minnow spoons, put them down in that 40 to 60 foot, you know, depth range, work any marks you see, work any spots of bait that you see, and you may be rewarded with a very nice king. I saw a king the other day that was 6.25 pounds caught at Lake Don Pedro. If you want a guided trip out there, give Monty Smith of Gold Country Sport Fishing a call. He's a top stick down there. He's taught me a ton about trout and salmon trolling, and uh, he is just plain fun to fish with. You can find him online or you can find him on Facebook. Anyway, that wraps it up for me. There are too many spots to mention in terms of great trout and salmon fishing right now. Whiskey Town's kicking out Kokanee. I mean, fishing's great everywhere. The problem is right now, we don't have enough time and gas money to hit all those lakes that are offering outstanding fishing. So stick with the valley fisheries, stick with the foothill fisheries. Thank me later because they are kicking out a ton of fish right now. Minimum travel, maximum fishing. I'm Kel Kellogg, and if you're looking for any of the gear I just mentioned, get on over to my store at fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks for all the support, guys.